Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Brad. Um, here I have a little fruit. This is called a passion fruit, full of passion. Now I've never actually cut one of these before, so this is going to be um, new for me as it is for you. It's harder than I thought it would be, it's like a rock. Um, so I guess we're just going to slice it open as we would do anything we find. I'm just going to oh, cut right through. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is, but apparently this is what comes from a passion fruit. You see, it kind of looks like a... I don't even know. It has a texture of a... It has a texture of um, a big wad of saliva, um, to explain it best. Um, it tastes kind of like a guava. No. It doesn't taste like a guava. Um, I guess to describe the flavor, I would say it, um, it's pungent. It's a pungent fruit. Okay. A little bit sour. It's edible, though, which is more than I can say for the rotten coconut I had couple days ago. Um, I don't think the skin is edible. Or maybe it is. Nope, skin's not edible. So this is what we have inside our fruit. This is a little bonus footage. I know we're making salsa, but I had one laying around, so I thought I'd give you a bonus. Um, it's a very yellow, poiky, poiky substance. Um, and what I mean by that is when you when you slam it down onto a hard surface, it's gonna go poik, make that poik kind of sound. Um, I guess it, the texture is kind of like an oyster. Okay, it's like a slimy oyster, except it doesn't taste like an oyster. Um, that's all I guess comes in the passion fruit. Which is good because they were um, they were pretty cheap, uh, three for a dollar, and now I understand why because um, that's all that's in it. That's it. We're done. That's the passion fruit.